India has recently successfully completed test flight of its unmanned aerial vehicle demonstrator. This is a small step but a giant leap in autonomous aviation technology. Drone technology importance is increasing in modern warfare. This can be seen in how Azerbaijan used Turkish drones to defeat Armenia in battlefield and emerged victorious in recent war in 2020. This particular event in battlefield clearly demonstrated how balance of power is tilted towards Azerbaijan due to use of drone in war. Earlier wars in this region massively favored Armenia. At that point of time, drone technology was not there. Now, Azerbaijan used Turkish drones to perform precision targets and establish dominance in both in skies and land. Stealth features of drones are instrumental in navigating Armenian missile batteries radars, etc., and launch surprise attack on ground assets. Armenia lost about 185 tanks, 45 armored fighting vehicles, 44 infantry fighting vehicles, and more. Now the lesson learned. The ground situation of warfare is changing faster than expected. Now in the age of modern warfare, high-tech equipments are game changers. Now use of autonomous artificial intelligence in defense system are explored, and a country who owns them and master them can win a war hands down. India obviously cannot lag behind for three reasons. Pakistan already has its own drone technology development and has already have many systems in use such as Nescom Barak. Number two, Turkey has close relationship with Pakistan and will not hesitate to supply drones or transfer this technology to Pakistan. Number three, China is in eastern borders, again ready to help Pakistan. India has planned to buy USA-based drones such as General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper. There was report that in February 2022, it was reported that Indian Navy has already put the deal on the back burner and was instead looking at more indigenous options from DRDO. However, there is still no clear signal on what will be the final deal is like or India has dropped it. The most important thing is that India needs a homegrown technology as these drone technology will form the critical system that can change the outcome of war. Many countries may not be fully transferring the technology or even create bottleneck in supplies. Therefore, this test of unmanned aerial vehicle demonstrator is very important for self-sufficiency. This can clearly demonstrate an Indian capability in building a system that can autonomously navigate to the target area, perform precision target and navigate back to the base by itself. Salient feature of this vehicle, tailless fixed wing aircraft, payload and fuel is in wings, therefore reducing the aerodynamic drag. Overall heat signature of this drone is very less and can be ideal for stealth. Now this will pave the way for multiple drone vehicles which India is trying to build, both for reconnaissance and attack types. This demonstration will lay the foundation for DRDO Katak, which is formulated as a mean and lean weapon which will house precision guided bombs and missiles. However, Indian defense industry is notorious for very long delay and long life cycle for completion of a technology. Example, LCA Tejas. However, this delay in drone will put India in vulnerable position with respect to Pakistan in case of low and medium intensity war. Therefore, India need to keep the wheel rolling without any bottlenecks. Also, recent good news for India is that US House approves Katsa waiver for India over S-400 deal with Russia. This will make the procurement process quick as India feared USA sanctions for S-400. Now with S-400 for dynamic missile defense and Gatak for autonomous attack and Rafael for deep penetration attack will surely put an edge for Indian in terms of attack capabilities. Thank you.